Okay then guys, what's going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're on a Suicide Squad and we're taking a look at the aftermath the day before the full game launch. Now there's a load of talk about the deaths inside of the Suicide Squad game and we're going to get into that today. And Paul Tassi is back with more complaints with the two big problems inside of Suicide Squad. This guy has got a real gripe with the title. It's actually mental. But we're going to take a look into it today. So if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor Advanced GG, the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market my favorite flavor is cherry vanilla but you guys can catch an array of flavors via the link in the description use code cloud at checkout for a cheeky discount but with that being said let's dive on in to the news today so on pushsquare.com, they've got an article up that states that fans are outraged at Rocksteady's handling of hero deaths inside a Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. With the hashed statement of, did you think they'd all become friends? Which I think actually nails this down to a T. Now, the article goes on to have some obviously vague spoilers in it. So, when we do talk about this, please be aware that there are some story spoilers in here. If you are yet to have played it, then you probably want to skip through to the next chapter of the video. You'll be able to find that in the drawbar at the bottom of the screen right now but it's now obviously out in early access form and despite needing to go offline twice so far there are a lot of pre-release gloom and doom and it seems like a decent enough game me myself i actually really enjoy it and there seems to be a lot of things that are associated with this now despite being literally called kill the justice league with associated trophies of doing so that people have seen some fans seem genuinely upset that the developer rocks steady would go through with this game's premise now this is absolutely mental if i'm completely honest because the game title says it all and i've seen some comments that state it's a bit cliche that you're looking at it with that regard but it's quite literally called kill the justice league you are the suicide squad it is a evil super villains game and this just is how it works now unfortunately for people who enjoy the franchises there is a suicide squad movement and this obviously led to the death of some of your favorite superheroes now unfortunately this works in a weird elseworld sort of style a little bit the same of spideyverse where there are numerous different universes um, all aligned and we've obviously taken visits into each one one and seeing what it is that they hold with superheroes making returns and so on and so forth so whether the actual versions of these superheroes are dead or not we'll have to wait and see i can't really tell par se how this one pans out but ign has since confirmed that kill the justice league is not conroy's final batman performance because obviously the biggest crisis right now is that batman was obviously taken out and the way that they took batman out was a little bit disrespectful i cannot lie we've done a video covering that one but it is extremely experiencing odd to see exactly how it is that they did that and it wasn't my favorite part of the game actually it was probably one of my least favorites but as an overall that well, i don't know what you guys expected with that regard the fact that these articles even exist is actually laughable but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll take a look into what it is that Paul Tassie is saying with these two big problems with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now he goes in to talk about a few different things. This article is actually massive. So massive shout out to Paul Tassie. Yeah, for the most part, he actually does some really good work and I really agree with a lot of his statements. Although with this game, for some reason, he has a added gripe. Now his two problems inside of this game is character diversity and activity diversity. Now, the character diversity goes on to state that personality-wise, sure, absolutely, the central quarter here has that in spades. But if we're talking about moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, it's not sure I've seen a game in this genre where the different classes and class types characters are more familiar and similar. Now, the main differentiator between the classes is the traversal and the aspects that do function quite differently. But even there however sharks mega jump and harley's bat hook boomerangs teleport and deadshots jetpack all serve the same function overall to get on top of that roof to get across those roofs kill people from the air and it may feel different as you do it but as the traversal mechanics which i would also say are way over designed at times but it's accomplishing the same exact task just in tweaked ways now this is a weird consensus and way that is kind of used it he states right here 
with combat is closer to identical. This is the wait, everyone just shoot guns uh, problem that everyone foresaw with the game even before launch. Guns make sense for Harley and Deadshot, less so for Boomerang and King Shark. But in moment to moment gameplay outside of traversal, they all play closer to identically. And I think that he has got a point to a degree, but when we're looking at it on a main aspect, let's take Destiny for example. The traversal for those have some, some different tweaks to them, like the Hunter jumps completely differently to the Warlock, and the traversal from that game is completely separated via their main character systems, and then they have their supers with abilities, which are generally like elemental and stuff like that. But again, relatively similar with the same end goal, and their main weapon sorts are just guns and swords and bows and arrows and stuff, but they can all use the exact same things. This game isn't really any different. If we were just to take the as the factor of them being superheroes out of the play, then we'd see a lot different outcome, surely. These aren't superheroes that are like Superman or like the Green Lantern who have some really big dramatic sorts of superpowers. The Green Lantern obviously has his, his Green Lantern ring and he can project things, move things, make things. Superman obviously can fly. He has laser beams that come out of his eyes. He has super strength. They're all different ways of playing as a player. But when it comes to the Suicide Squad, they're all like relatively useless and I think that that was the irony of the Suicide Squad forming to begin with, was that they were a bunch of useless villains and not even the full parting. How they bring in things as they move forward with like Dr. Freeze and Scarecrow and all of these people that have got some a little bit more about them, it'd be interesting to see how that one pans out. Now, the next one, which I will definitely agree on with Paul, is activity diversity. If there's a single problem that I think is going to sink this game is activity diversity and design. In the hours I've put into Suicide Squad so far, quite literally almost every activity has been some variant of the same few things. Jump up and down buildings to A, control points, B, bring back civilians to a bus, or C, kill all enemies on screen. In the side missions, there are often modifiers, like the fact that you can only kill enemies with grenades or melee finishes, critical hits, and he does state in this, actually, that the one with critical hits is awful, and I completely back it. I absolutely hate it. But it almost feels like those were invented because it would be just so boring otherwise. And again, given the similarity in characters, kits I just mentioned, it feels more similar than other games that might do this and for the most part he is right and this is the problem with the game as it stands is that they all are pretty much the same aspect with no real big combustion points so when we look at the game for what it is and again we'll take destiny as the comparable we have a lot of like open world stuff which we have in the public sectors inside of destiny 2 at the moment and you've got all of like the monotonous tasks that nobody really likes doing and then we have a lot of like boss fights inside of destiny 2 and then we have the nightfalls and then we've got the raids where the mechanics are so high it's ridiculous except for some reason in this game we don't really have that factor the end game activities in this seem very similar to the actual like round the city open world public event things there's not really much of a differentiation between them other than the fact that you're going into a different elseworld planet to do that and you do it obviously at a different difficulty scale that's probably my biggest downfall for this game is the actual end game activities and how it pans compared to the standard activities in game don't get me twisted it is fun it is enjoyable but i think the novelty will wear off quite quickly and i think that if warner bros do not span upwards and start bringing in some different featured activities very quickly or at least with the dlcs and stuff i think it's going to be quite a boring outcome and it's probably not going to do very well longevity people are not going to be able to hold their attention to this sort of stuff so that's just my partake on what it is that paul's put up and again what i've just said about over the article was a very brief outline if you guys want to go and check out his main article on forbes then i'll leave the link down in the description you guys can go and check it out it's definitely worth the read although he's got a bit of a gripe with the game on a personal level i feel so it's not very positive at all with that being said though if you haven't already smash the like button and subscribe with post notifications that turned on and if you got this far into the video leave a tick in the comment section below because i'm just really intrigued to see how many people get this far in thanks again for watching guys appreciate your faces like subscribe and as always i'll see you in the clouds